Hey, what's up guys, Wolfcore here, and uh, thank you for clicking on the video. So, uh, in today's video, we're actually going to be doing my very first Q&A. I asked you guys to submit some questions for me a while back. Sorry this video took so long to get out, but I was going through all those computer difficulties as some of you guys know about, but that crisis has passed. So it's time to make this video, and I'm excited I've never done one of these before, and this is like a huge bucket list thing for me because I've always wanted to do those YouTube meta things like dye my hair purple and make Q&A videos and stuff like this. So thank you all very much for submitting questions, and I hope you enjoy. And before we jump into it, can we just talk about how good this jacket looks? I just picked it up at the mall, and it's amazing. All right, first question. Steve Fonseca asks, how was life growing up in California? Um... I love California to my bones. I absolutely love it. I'm a West Coaster all the way, but California is really expensive to live. It's one of the most expensive places in the world to live. So from that perspective, it kind of sucks and it still kind of sucks living here because it's so expensive, but I love it. I love it to death and it's so beautiful, especially in the summer going to the river and doing those classic California things. There's so much to do and see here, which makes it amazing. Uh, as for growing up specifically, I had kind of a rocky childhood as some as some of you might know, but other than that, you know, I still I still loved it. You know, just because something isn't easy doesn't mean that it's bad, right? Second question comes from Zovio. What is your favorite sport by playing and watching? What were you like when you were younger? Um I'll answer the second one first. What was I like when I was younger? I was an angsty little shit. I went through a lot of different phases. I went through like an emo scene goth phase for the majority of middle school and high school. That was pretty much my thing. I was very shy and reserved for the latter half of my schooling, uh, but when I was younger, before I got into the emo scene thing, I was, like I said, an angsty little shit. I was. I went to a private Christian school and I wasn't the most popular kid, so I pretty much felt picked on and my nerd friends, I felt like they were picked on, so I was kind of like a bully of bullies. Uh, at least that's how I remember it being. I'm not sure how accurate that was to, uh, to other people's perspectives, but... Uh, what is my favorite sport? I love watching football. Uh, American football, that is. Not... we call it... not soccer. Not soccer. Um, in case you live across the pond, that gets a little confusing, but I love watching American football. I also love playing it. I'm a pretty decent thrower and a even faster runner because I run a lot. If you want to count running as a sport, I do love to run. I run every day of my life and I've been running for years and years. All right, third questioner, Emmy asks, uh, what was your childhood like? Well, I already touched on that a bit, but it was, uh, when my parents separated when I was 11, that was pretty hard on me. I didn't really appreciate how hard it was at the time, but that definitely kind of changed my whole life. I ended up just going out on my own when I was about 13 and moved in with a girl and it was very, it was a very complicated, weird childhood. But, you know, I got through it and it made me tough and I learned a lot and yeah. Um, uh, she also asks, what's your favorite season? Fall. Fall all day. I freaking love fall. I'm a basic bitch when it comes right down to it. I love pumpkin spice lattes and sweaters, and if I ever wore Ugg boots, I'm sure I would love those too. <laughs> Emmy also asks, do you prefer cats or dogs? God, you know, I love them both, but I do tend to lean towards dogs' personalities just because they're so, they're so loving and happy and they just get all up in your face, and I love that about dogs. Big dogs, that is. Little dogs, eh, not so much, you know, they're... They're a whole different breed, no pun intended. I do love cats though. Cats are fluffy and, and can be very sweet and nice, but they're they're angsty. They're angsty, so I do lean towards dogs. Let me also asks, what do you picture yourself doing five years from now? Uh, ideally, I would love to be doing something in the media industry full time, uh, whether that's YouTube, live streaming, a combination of the two, vlogging, or something else that I haven't thought up yet that's gonna be you know an even bigger break. Uh, that's what I would love to be doing. That's It's something that I'm really passionate about. I love doing all this. I love what I've done here and created. And the, the community is my favorite aspect of it. And I never want to stop doing this. So as long as I keep moving forward, I could see myself doing this full time in five years. Emmy also asks in a separate post, also, would you date me if I wasn't your daughter? Uh, kiddo, I think I'm a little too old for you. Sorry. <laughs> Number four, King of the Frogs asks, if you had to eat a Bloodborne boss for dinner, but what boss would you eat? 
I personally think Cleric Beast sounds pretty good, or maybe some blood starved ribs. <laughs> uh, that's a really good question, King of the Frogs. Who would I eat? Um, well, that would have to be Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower, if you know what I mean. But that's probably not what you meant, so I might go with a uh, Vicar Amelia steak, because she is just my foe. No matter how good I get at that game, that BZ still ruins my speedruns. Betty asks, what was the very first video game you ever played? Um, my very first memories of playing video games were, I want to say, Command and Conquer. Uh, but the first game I remember really getting into from that time, it was we were playing on a Windows 95 PC that my dad got from a job, and it was like the first computer that I had, had access to, and it was life. Like, I lived for that thing. When I would hear the sound of Windows booting up, I would like sprint into that room, little, you know, three foot tall me, just like, oh my god, somebody's on the computer. I, I love computers and gaming. I have since the beginning of my life. Uh, but the first game that we really got into, that I really got into, was Heroes of Might and Magic 2. It was like a turn-based strategy game. It was, it's kind of hard to explain. You don't really see games like that these days too often, but it was so much fun. I loved playing Hot Seat, which is sort of like LAN uh, with my brothers and my dad. Up next, uh, we've got Cass asking, what's your number? Not gonna tell you, but JKJK, JK, who's the most sexiest celeb, male or female or both? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, for female? It's tough. Um, I want to say it's a tie between Kira Knightley, Kate Beckinsale, and Emma Watson. I've loved them all for a long time, and I just, I just can't choose. They're all so amazing. As for guys, uh, I got to go with Tom Hardy. I, oh Tom, Tom Hardy. Oh, I love me some Tom Hardy. <sighs> Billy Deerhead has a whole long list for me. Uh, so first, how long have you had that beard? I want to say I've had this beard for eight or nine months now. I didn't just check. I started growing this beard the day I actually got this uh, condenser microphone working because I had been struggling with that for months and months and months and I couldn't seem to get my audio set up to function correctly. And I finally did that and that was when I felt like I was really coming into YouTube for the first time because I finally had a studio. It's grown and developed a lot since then, but that was the first real step to starting my studio. That's when I started growing my beard, and that's when I made the promise that I wasn't going to shave my beard until I hit 10,000 subscribers. And we're getting some good length, and we're still a fair distance off from 10,000, but we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Uh, up next, he asked, what did you, uh, why did you start your YouTube channel? It was something that I'd always wanted to do. Uh, but if I had to give credit to another creator, it would have to be MF Pally Time. A lot of you know that he's been my favorite YouTuber for years and years and years. And I started watching him back in 2012, 2013, back then. And he was just so down to earth. And when he would, you know, talk and open up to his audience, I just felt this great connection with him. Just like, wow, you and me seem so similar. Like, if you could do that, why couldn't I? And then I was like, maybe I just should. So that's when I started setting into motion plans to make this happen, and it took a lot longer than it should have, but I finally got off my butt and started it. Uh, Billy also asks, do you have any big plans for the channel? Absolutely. I would love for this to be a full-time thing that I do for many, many years, and love to see this develop into other, bigger, broader things that I can't yet conceive of. I really would like this to be a big YouTube channel, a big community, not like for money's sake, but just because I want to be there for as many people as I can. And I, just, I just want to see how big we can make this community. And I would love to get over a million subscribers someday. Obviously, that's a very distant, lofty dream right now. But you know what I mean? Like, you're never going to hit your goals if you don't set them high, right? So yeah, that's, you know, I do have big plans for the channel. And uh, I've always got more stuff going on in my head that I'm actually doing on the channel just because every project takes a lot of time and effort to implement. So there's always more going on up here than, than is actually happening. So know that there's a lot more exciting new stuff to come. Like this video. This is a, this is a, new, a new step for me, a new, a new thing for us to do. When is your birthday? Asks Billy Deerhead. It is November 24th, making me a Sagittarius Scorpio cusp, in case you are curious. Uh, will you shave your beard for 1,000 subscribers special? Uh, no, I'm not going to cut it until I get to 10,000, and when I do, I'm 
not convinced that I'll be wanting to shave it or anything like that. That's just when I will have the option to cut it or shave it. Uh, what is my favorite beverage? Mm, red wine. I love red wine. God, I live for red wine. Red wine is mm, so lit, fam. So lit. Uh, what's your biggest interest outside of video games? Um, probably this YouTube channel, but putting that aside, probably running. I'm, I'm an avid runner. I run basically every day of my life, and I absolutely love it. Uh, what other YouTubers do you like and would you recommend? Um, I think I just did a little bit of promo for MF Pally Time, and if I was going to name another, though, I would probably have to say Markiplier. Like, I'm actually a really avid Markiplier fan. His content is a little bit juvenile for me. He definitely caters to a younger audience, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so I don't love everything that he does, but he's he's a really great YouTuber. Also, Philip DeFranco, the PDS, great way to get your news from an unbiased, accurate source. And he's just really entertaining and funny and a great guy. Favorite childhood TV show? Ooh, the first thing that popped into my head was SpongeBob. I don't know if that's actually the case. I mean, I also love like Dragon Ball Z, Inuyasha. I, the list could go on, but... um. Yeah, Spongebob has a really nostalgic childhood place in my heart. Least favorite food? Um, beans. Beans. I'm not a huge fan of beans, like bean soup. Uh, it's it's one of the few things that I can think of that I actively don't want to eat. And I am, I'm a very easygoing eater. Like, you put anything in front of me and I'm like, fuck yeah, food, let's go. Like, I love food. I love all types of food. But eh, beans, beans are a little, I don't know, they just kind of taste like dirt, you know? furthest you've ever been from your hometown. I have gone down south as far as Mexico and spent some time there. I have gone east as far as Wyoming. Obviously, I live in California on the west coast, so you can't go much farther that way. And north as far as Portland, and I spent part of a summer there when I was about 19. Favorite guilty pleasure? <clears throat> Kesha. <clears throat> Worst job you've ever had? Uh, that's tough because all jobs are difficult but i would have to say working at starbucks was a really hard experience i loved my co-workers if any of them happen to be watching this don't know don't get me wrong I, I loved you all but the actual like working starbucks experience is so much more difficult than people give their baristas credit for like it is a very stressful job and i've done a lot of different stuff i've worked at high levels in management being a barista at starbucks is very stressful <laughs> So bear that in mind if you're thinking about applying there for your first job. It's a good job. You'll meet amazing people, but it's stressful as fuck. Dumbest or and or most embarrassing thing you've ever done or been through? Um, as for embarrassing, I would have to say any time I've ever tried to ask somebody out. Like, oh god, oh, it's just so, it's so difficult. <laughs> Jessica asks, what is your favorite movie? Um. I would say three come to mind right off the bat. Uh, we've got The Princess Bride, fantastic old school bromance. If you haven't seen it, change that. It is, it is a, oh, it's such a good movie. Uh, v for Vendetta, I am in love with. I love the character V. You can see my V poster right back here. The Guy Fox mask. And of course, uh, Hot Fuzz with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. It's a British comedy. It's so funny. They're the same guys that were in Shaun of the Dead, if that helps. Uh, definitely watch it if you haven't yet. It's so funny. British humor is just amazing. I love those guys. They're fantastic. Which ride at Disneyland is your favorite? Uh, I've only been to Disneyland once and I was quite young and I don't really remember the rides to be honest, so I can't really answer that. But hey, if you want to send me to Disneyland at some point, I would love be able to answer that question more honestly. Uh, what do you do when you're not playing video games or working? Uh, the Basically 80% of that time is spent uh, working on the channel, assuming we're not talking about sleeping here because I do a fair amount of sleeping and I love sleeping. Um, but when I'm not working on the channel, which I do put a lot of time into, I love running and I love hanging out with my friends. We usually like to drink and chill and have little kickbacks and stuff like that. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you want to go? Um, I would love to visit so, so many different places. Like many people, I have that travel bug where I just want to get out there and experience all these different cultures. But I've always had this inexplicable desire to visit India. I don't know why. It's just the, the cultural differences just seem 
so fascinating to me and it's such a beautiful place when you look at photos and whatnot I would just love to to see India Womp. okay uh, non gamer asks you should do a super cheesy two minute short of guess what's in wolf Gore's beard so we can play at home when you're not around sometimes I play what's in wolf Gore's beard with my wolf Gore mannequin head but it's just not the same I don't know if that's a question but I'm gonna do my best uh, so let me give you a hint. It is blue and it is made of plastic. Feel free to leave your guesses in the comments below and I will make sure to give a big old heart to the person who gets it right. And to put a little bit of context behind that, if you're somebody watching this who doesn't come to my stream on the regular, we play a game called Name That Small Object in Wolf Gore's Beard and the name of the game is I Take a Small Object, I Hide It in My Beard and the chaps have to guess what's in there while I give little hints and it's very fun. Well guys, I think that's all for today. I believe I answered all your questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. This was so cool. This was like a bucket list thing for me. I'm just like, I can't believe I'm actually doing this with my life. And I appreciate it so much. If you guys would like to see another one of these, we might do it at another milestone, like a thousand subscribers. So please let me know if you did enjoy this and you would like to see more, and we'll definitely end up doing another one. Before you go, if you could hit the like button, it really does help my channel grow and I would appreciate it so much. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Beardheart, I love your faces and I'll see you next time. Bye.